Hi, this is Dr. Touch. Today I want to show you how I made a star rating control. Uh, for an app of mine, I needed to be able to rate something and the way how you do it nowadays is with stars. Uh, obviously, we want to be able to uh, tap a star and give it a, a certain rating. Um, and today I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, to start off, I, I needed to get some interesting or nice looking uh, icons. I got them from dryicons.com which is a, a, a great uh, website or business. They have beautiful uh, icons uh, and there's three kinds of licenses that you can use uh, or, or get. The extended license is the one that uh, allows you to use these icons in your own apps. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. In my case, I got the empty, the full and the half full star and they are $5 each if you want to use them in your app. Uh, provided you don't use them as the app icon. If you use them as the app icon, it's $300. But to just use them in, inside your app, it's $15 and you don't have to worry about the looks of the icons anymore. So that's a very good deal. So basically these are the, the three icons that I added to my project and I created a control. Um, actually, I started out doing it as a UI view. Uh, and then I converted it into a con uh, UI control because uh, I wanted to get the additional benefit of the target action mechanism. And I'll show you what this is in a second. So the header is nothing uh, unusual. It's just a couple of properties that allows me to, to set up uh, the uh, control when I'm starting uh, in my view controller for the demonstration. I'm just setting the images. I'm setting edge insets. Um, edge insert, let me quickly show you what this, that is. Uh, to the left and to the right of uh, the uh, control, there's still a, a bit of active area. If I wouldn't set edge inserts, um, the stars would go to the very corner. Uh, but in this case, if I uh, tap to the left or to the right, it sets the uh, value to zero or one. Um, one being the full rating and uh, Five, uh, 0.5 half um, and in this case I'm setting allow half stars because this, that's another thing this control can uh, you can disable that if you only want to uh, be able to set full stars um, that's linked to the property if you want to set half stars you go to the left side or right side of the star and you set it accordingly um, so for the uh, control itself um, uh, besides of the synthesizers for all the properties, um, I'm setting up the same uh, whether I'm coming via in it with frame or if it's uh, being instantiated from a nip. In my demo, it's obviously coming from a nip. Uh, it's here the DT star star rating view. Um, it's on, on top here, so it gets up set up the same default is five stars and allowing half stars. Um, then uh, for the setting of the properties, uh, if I set uh, the, the rating to a new value, um, I'm updating the stars. And here's the magic. That's the only thing that I added, making the UI view into a UI control. UI control is a uh, descendant of UI view, so it can do everything that UI view can, but it adds this target action mechanism. And if your value changes, that the thing that makes up your control, you just call this line and the control takes care of the rest. Uh, so in, in my case, um, I'm able to uh, have a, a IB action, in this case rating changed, and I'm having that link to the value change control event for the uh, star rating view. And that's what uh, changes the uh, text of my label. I'm just formatting this and because the rating goes from 0 to 1, I'm multiplying it with the number of stars to get the real number of stars. So getting back to the inner workings, um, uh, let me briefly show you uh, the touch handling. Uh, I want to be able to, to re react on the begin and the move. So I wrote one method that gets called in both cases. Um, and that's, that's the meat of the whole thing is update stars. Uh, if there is no star images yet, I'm not doing anything. Uh, and then basically I'm working with the sub views of, 
of the view itself because subviews can only be the, the image views in my case. Um, and what I'm doing, if the number of stars is different than the current number of stars uh, on in the subviews, uh, then I'm removing all. And this is a good trick to, to get this done. You basically can tell all uh, objects in an area to perform a certain selector and that's removed from super view. And I'm doing that with a, a second array that I'm creating here because otherwise you get the message uh, that the uh, array was changed while being enumerated and we don't want that. Um, so here's a little bit of mathematics that calculates the, the width, the width between and, and so on and so forth with the edge insets. Um, and that's just the setup, which only occurs, as I said, if the number of stars changes. And then the second part is actually setting the, the correct image based on what the current rating is. And here that uh, it depends on uh, if uh, half stars is allowed, uh, then it, there's a certain threshold where it's still a half star, otherwise it's an empty star or a full star. Uh, and I'm setting a new image in this case and not uh, the star dot image right away because I want to get this, this bouncy uh, effect. If you pass over, you see, every, every, every time the star changes, you get a, a scaling effect. And this I got from Stack Overflow. Somebody asked the question. And uh, so if the image is not the same as the new image, I'm doing this a bounce overshoot animation. Um, and uh, so finally I'm setting the new image. And if, if I have set up such an animation, which in the beginning is nil, but in this condition I'm creating it, then I'm adding this to the layer and it happens by itself. Don't need to uh, care about this anymore. Um, so that's, that's basically the gist. Um, so let me just show you all the things that it can do. You can go uh, individually by sliding over it. You can uh, tap individual but um, buttons, yeah, stars. Uh, or if you set the, the property to not allow half stars, you see it's only getting the, the full stars. And that's another thing that you would change during the lifetime of your app. It's just something that you decide at the beginning. In this case, for the demo purpose, um, I put the switch here. So in, in your database, you would either have uh, values zero to five, or if you allow half stars, it could be anything from zero to two and a half and five. Um, well, and that's, that's it. Uh, that's all the magic there is. Uh, I can really recommend uh, if you uh, want beautiful icons, just license them from dry icons. As I said, I'm going to do the same for a couple of icons for uh, upcoming apps of mine. Uh, it's really inexpensive, just $5 per, per icon. Um, and if you uh, want to have this uh, control because you're too lazy to, to program all of that yourself, just ask me. I might be able uh, to, uh, I might be making it available via my Dr. Touches part store. So uh, don't forget, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this is a review that uh, deserves five stars. So, bye-bye.